All right, welcome back, everyone. This is iOS feature licensing. Very important. I like it. I like it because every iOS has a different uh, feature, right? That it has. You have the universal image. Then you have the IP base, which is the basics. Then you have voice. What do you think that has? Voice stuff. Service provider, enterprise base, advanced security, advanced IP services, enterprise services, advanced enterprise services. So and this is prior to iOS 15. With iOS 15, we have pretty much all this encompasses, okay? But just to be more specific, all right, and you can go to Cisco's website. You can go ahead and find this. This tells you. The IP base where it has an entry level Cisco IOS. IP voice, it has VoIP. It has voice for FR, IP telephony, advanced security, Cisco IOS firewalls, VPNs, 3DS, SSH. So each IOS is specific to what it, uh, its feature set is specific to what it has. And if you need new feature sets, you can download that and then you can verify it by doing going into uh, privilege mode and doing a show license. That way it'll tell you what feature do you have. IP base K9. The license type is permanent. License state is active, it's in use, right? Uh, that this is for security, K9. It's permanent, it's active, it's in use. And the other one, that is data K9. That one is not activated, means if you wanted to use it, you would have to activate it. So that's all that means. Because everybody asks me, Laz, why can we get the real equipment? It all depends not only on your hardware, but your software. In this case, it is your iOS. All right? That's it. That's all there's to this. Okay? It's your iOS that matters. That's what's important. When you're doing GNS3, if you're doing viral, if you're doing whatever, packet trace, unfortunately, is whatever they give you. But if you have the latest and greatest versions, you'll get new features. If you get the latest and greatest, iOS's like the XR and all that, you'll get new feature sets. Do you have to pay for it? Obviously. Okay. But you download that from Cisco when you purchase the iOS. You have to purchase down those feature sets and then activate those feature sets and then look at them by doing the show license. That's it. That's what Cisco wants you to know and understand that depending on what you're doing on your network is exactly what the type of license you need to get. All right, all the type of features that you need to get in order to be able to do it. Okay, that's it. That's all there's to that. No big deal. Just remember that show license. All right, that's all you need to remember. Remember what the feature sets are, and they're per particular to each thing that you're going to do in your network. I'll see you in the next one.